financial pinch, someone who's cutting back, reducing spending, changing plans, maybe even postponing retirement. We get some personal reaction tonight from the streets of Vancouver. The glass towers of Vancouver's financial district mask the chaos going on inside. It seems most people are worried about the financial crisis, a crisis that many believe has yet to fully hit Canada. I had a full head of hair this morning. It's all gone. So, yeah, needless to say, I am concerned. Uh, it won't affect me personally, but it'll probably affect my boss, my family. Yeah. He's, he's stressed out of it, yeah. I have the live quotes right now, and I tell you, the way Apple's going up and down, I... Yeah, that's all I'm worried about. Yeah, I lost my job. That's why I'm here. <laughs> lost your job because you couldn't... Yeah, the store uh, went out of business. Are you nervous? No. No? How come? Well, because I got into cash a long time ago. What are you worried about? Um, possibly my future as a young person. Uh, losing my money, possibly. Those worries are already influencing how people spend money. From lattes to luxury goods, people say they're already cutting back. It's affecting everything. Everything and you cannot travel, you cannot uh, really afford things around, it makes you everything more difficult for every in every single aspect in life. Do you think you might make some changes in your spending habits now? With us vacations, because we are retired and we enjoy vacations and we enjoy going on a cruise, we might have to not uh, come back on cruising or travel. My paycheck is going to take a, 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 a cut and my income is going to take a cut, so um, and that's just me, and, and, and the same applies to everyone. This, this, is, this is just universal, you know. It, it, no one is going to be spared. I'm fortunate that I can probably survive for a little while, but, you know, if you start losing 800 points a day, uh, I don't know how many days I can take. While this financial institution claims it's making money make sense, in these historic times, it's a tough slogan to live up to. I think it will balance itself out. You just have to not panic and sit tight. I think Canada hasn't seen anything yet. I spent a lot of time in the States. I would say, hold on to your hats. 